So today for our daily Moravian text reading, we are in Romans chapter 14, verse 13, through to chapter 15, verse 2. And we're continuing in the theme that we started yesterday about how we can work out right and wrong behaviour for us as followers of Jesus. It's about our actions, um, ethics, morality. Remember, we have been freed from the law. We no longer live under the law. We live under grace. But that raises the question, then, how do we work out what is right or wrong? And the example Paul's using, which would have been a very powerful example to that first audience, is around food laws. And if you remember, the Old Testament has a lot to say about what you can eat, what is kosher, what is permitted, and what you can't eat, what is treaf, which is not permitted, like um, seafood or the cl uh, cloven hoof animal, that sort of thing, uh, milk or meat together. Um, we are freed from that, and yet we still give consideration to how we live in the light of that. Uh, because we are under grace, we are called to live in a different way. And Paul is giving some guidelines here. Um, if you missed yesterday's Moravian, I'd encourage you to uh, go back and check it out because I went through four or five different guidelines around ethics and how we make right and wrong uh, decision making around right and wrong in today's um, society. But what I think Paul's doing today is showing that actually these principles are about how we live in community together, how we live in community together. And uh, the example I used in yesterday's, just because I thought it was quite current, was around um, the COVID vaccination and, um, and, and the debate around whether it's ethical or not to have a COVID vaccination. There is no Bible verse that says thou shalt be vaccinated and no Bible verse that said thou shalt not be vaccinated. So how do we make up our mind? And it's about faith. As we listen to the Holy Spirit, it's about acting in faith, not in fear. And um, we could use other examples. Um, for example, um, should a Christian drink alcohol or not? Well, is that decision made out of faith or out of fear? And in particular, how does that relate to the community that we are in? I think that's a drive of today's passage. So some of the principles today, Paul says in verse 14, um, if you believe that that action is a sin, then to act in that way makes it a sin because it's about belief or lack of belief. He says in verse 15, um, if you do do that thing, if you eat that thing, if you drink that thing, if you take that vaccine or not, and if in doing it, you make it known and that distresses another believer, then it becomes sin because it's causing another believer to stumble because it's not acting in love towards others. And that, that word love is the Greek word, ag, ag, Greek word agape, unconditional love um, towards others, how God loves us. And that truly has to be the driving um, decision making factor in all that we do, that the, it's the most loving action towards others, the guiding principle. So, for example, um, there are um, I am very happy to have a glass of wine. I believe the Bible says do not get drunk. It doesn't say do not drink. Uh, but in certain communities, in certain cultures, I would completely abstain from alcohol because the most loving thing to do, that principle, is to not cause someone else to stumble. And uh, we see that in verse 19 around how um, we make an effort to do what leads to peace and mutual edification within our communities. So, um, so the guiding principles are don't judge others. Don't cause others to stumble or be in distress. Act out of love within community. And then we've got this verse, verse 22. It should be everyone's um, uh, status on Facebook when you first go onto it. 
it says, whatever you believe about these things, i.e. what you should eat and what you shouldn't eat, what you should do and what you shouldn't do, these ethical dilemmas, whatever you believe about them, keep it between yourself and God. What a great guiding principle for use of social media. So our ethical decisions are about being a community. It's about being priests in a kingdom together. How do we live in that kingdom? Well, this is the point, verse 17. It, the kingdom of God is not about not eating this or eating this or not drinking this or drinking this or having a vaccine or not having a vaccine. The kingdom of God is about righteousness, peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Let those things guide how you live in community with one another and how you make decisions. Righteousness, peace and joy. Have a wonderful day.